What's going on guys? Tactical Bacon here and welcome to Season 1, Episode 1 of Daisy Origins. Now for those of you guys that don't know exactly what Daisy Origins is, it's pretty much a mod. I think the way that the story behind the mod kind of goes is it's like right after the zombie outbreak occurs. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, if you guys want to check out like the basics of everything, just go check out the Wikipedia link. Uh, will be in the description below. But basically, it's a different kind of base building from the Epoch base building. And I guess Overpoch too, even though that's just a combination of different mods. Uh, there's a heli crash over here. I guess it might be worth checking out. As you can see, there's a different menu, uh, different menu layout, I guess. You really only spawn with a Makarov. One mag, two bandages, flashlight, and some other little basic shit here and there. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be... Uh, going around the Taviana 3 map, uh, actually the Taviana 3.5 map, I believe, which really the only difference is between the regular Taviana map and the Origins Taviana map is there's a few more, okay, well, I don't know why I thought I had a map on me, but yeah, there's a, just a few more islands here and there, I'll probably throw a picture up on the screen or something like that when I go in and edit the video, um, but yeah, I pretty much spawn in the south or west. I'm just going to call it the southwest island, the larger southwest island. And uh, basically, I know there's a fire station around here somewhere. I'm going to go look for that. But uh, yeah, Daisy Origins, there's there's different loot um, that you know you don't normally see if you're playing like uh, Epoch or Overpoch or anything like that. Um... There's a few different guns in the game. I really don't have like a list of all that stuff right in front of me right now. Um, yeah, I mean that's <laughs> that that's pretty much the basics of Origins. I think like the like the story behind Origins is kind of interesting, um, and a lot of people probably think that Origins, like as far as like the mod is concerned, the Origins mod is dead but this server actually has a little over 30 people on it right now i mean that's not great but i mean it is the middle of the night and i'm playing this and there's still 30 people on it so that's something right there's a vehicle over here and a zombie oh yeah also there's different kind of like zombie skins okay we got a little what is this winchester no it's a shotgun that'll that, that'll work for now you just really have to take what you can get. There's a pickaxe over there, but I really don't need the pickaxe right now. But yeah, as, as far as like weapon spawns and shit like that, it's very, very different from like Overpock and Epoch. Very, very different. Because you don't just find like a lot of like military loot in random places like barns and shit like that. Like every once in a while you'll find something good but you're just yeah it's like right over there there's just empty cans like you find a lot of empty cans in this mod i mean i'm sure they 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 can be used maybe they can be used for like base building or something like that i really haven't gotten into like like the base building aspect of origins yet yeah that's one of the custom skin zombies down there but i haven't really gotten into like the the base building stuff yet because i really don't have any supplies to build a base? What is this? Drawing of all kind of measurements. Okay, so these are blueprints to a base. Or blueprints for a base, I should say. But yeah, I mean, I really don't have, like... I and mean, I'm starting off as a fresh spawn, so obviously I don't have any supplies to build a base. This is my first time on this server, so... I don't know, base building right now... Let's see, this thing's missing a wheel. It's like a very rust... Oh, okay, it's missing two wheels. What else? Gas. Wow, this thing's pretty fucked. Um... Okay. I was trying to hit G to see the gear. You have to do it like this, though. You have to hit the map and then go into uh, units and then bring up your gear. Unless you just want to get out of the car, go to the back, and just hit G. Like most normal people probably would do um but yeah that's that's just the way to view the inventory from within the car um pretty old school uh as far as i know 
But like I was saying earlier, I know there's a firehouse around here somewhere, so I'm gonna head up to the firehouse, see if there's anything I can come across as far as like, I don't know, maybe a backpack. Um, my goal right now is to find a backpack, a map, uh, maybe a better primary. Um, never really used shotguns in Arma 2 before, or Arma 3, I really don't, what the fuck is this, a battery? Okay, it can be used to power various appliances, no shit. Oh, I wonder if I can I wonder if I could take that hatchet. Oh shit. He's got like a Rolling Stones t-shirt, that's awesome. I really like a lot of the custom skins for the uh, for the zombies in this mod. I think I saw a picture earlier actually when I was looking up stuff about the Daisy Origins. I think I saw a picture of like some kind of like rocker zombie who had a mohawk and like chains around his neck. I was like, oh, that's that's, that's pretty cool. Hope I come across that zombie. But yeah, uh, right now my goal is to find a backpack, hopefully find a better uh, or a better primary, and I don't know, just come across some of the interesting loot that the Daisy Origins mod has to offer. So I'm gonna look around, hopefully find that firehouse here soon. And I will be right back. Alright, so I managed to find the firehouse, so we're going to go ahead and take a look inside and hopefully find something good here. Uh, real quick, I just want to let everybody know that I'm probably going to be doing uh, Daisy Origins, Daisy Overwatch, and Daisy Overpock, like one of those videos uh, every week. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm just getting distracted by some of these, uh, that was actually a pistol that I had not seen before. Um, but yeah, um, we're probably gonna be getting back on the regular upload schedule of every other day, having a new video. We'll have an Origins video, and the next one will be like Overpock or Overwatch, and the next one will be whatever I didn't cover on that one. Uh, there's some more empty cans, don't want any of those. Uh, take a smoke grenade to distract zombies with, I guess. Uh, is that an M1911? No, that's a CZ-75. I think that's what that said. Uh, okay, so here's a backpack. This is what we were, uh, this is what I was hoping to come across here. Um... Not really sure if that shotgun is going to be any better than the one I've already got. I mean, it, it's a newer model of a shotgun, but I mean, shotgun is a shotgun, right? What is this? I have no idea, but there's no ammo for it, so I'm not even going to bother checking what it is. Um, but yeah, we're going to be getting uh, to that upload schedule. I'm probably going to be doing some Arma 3 breaking point at some point or another. I'm not exactly sure when and or where I'm going to be doing that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're... I normally don't go to the top of the fire... Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, God, I hate the firehouse for that reason. Um, I never go to the top of the firehouse tower. I don't know why. I'm sure somebody is going to eventually say, like, oh, man, you should go to the top of the tower because you'll find this and that and the other. I have never found any good loot at the top of fire station towers, so I just tend to stay away from them. Um, but yeah, I mean, we finally managed to get a backpack. We got some more mags for the Makrov. Um, came across a convenience store earlier, got some food and all that kind of stuff, so we are good to go. There's some vehicles over there on the road. Um, i go check these out real quick. I'm sure that most of the vehicles that exist in the world already are probably pretty damaged. Uh, I see at least one wheel miss. Come on, get over the fucking... Oh my god. Anyways. Oh yeah, this one's missing a couple wheels. Um, not bad on gas, but it's pretty bad on everything else. Yeah the Coyota. Uh, also, for those of you wondering um, how I got my logo or how I managed to get the logo on the side of the vehicle there, it's just a simple squad XML thing. Um, if you want to, there's tutorials online about that on how to do that kind of stuff. Um, there's actually a website out 
I'm not exactly sure how long that website's been around, but uh, it makes the entire process a lot easier from the way that I was originally trying to do it. Um, it's it's pretty easy. Just you know, just you uh, either YouTube search or Google search like Arma Three, Arma Two, Squad XML, and you'll be taken to that web page. And it's it's pretty self-explanatory. So, um, but yeah, I mean, there's really not too much here in the south. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna try to go head towards some of the military barracks in the north. And hopefully come across a better primary, because that's really the only thing that I'm lacking right now, is a decent primary that does better than a fucking double barrel shotgun. Um, so yeah, we're going to keep heading this way, and uh, hopefully come across something good. So, I don't know, I've, I've, I've been playing this mod now for about 30 minutes, and... I don't know. It it, it kind of reminds me a lot of a lot of the Daisy standalone in the regards of it's just a bunch of running around. Um, haven't come across any players yet or anything like that, but I'm sure that eventually in this series I will come across some players. But as of right now, it's I don't know. I don't know what to think about this mod, honestly. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep running north.